morning, it's Thursday and I am upstairs getting ready. I've got S Club 7 still on downstairs. <laughs> if you're ever in an awful mood when you wake up, not that I was this morning, I just felt like listening to it. Or if you're feeling a bit down, you can't feel down if you put S Club 7 on. It's like the best start to a morning ever. I'm gonna try some uh, makeup that I've not tried yet. So I'm gonna give this a little try. It's the Jouer essential high coverage cream foundation hyaluronic acid matte and oil free so let's see i haven't got my tripod this morning so i have to like crouch i'm just gonna hope this is the right shade because oh it looks a bit dark actually that ain't the right shade again that looks better oh my god my face is orange it is most certainly high coverage, bloody hell. Oh my God, this foundation is insane. I love this. Oh my goodness. I've had this in my collection for a while. They sent it to my PO box very kindly when they released it. And I just haven't reached for it. I, kept, I did have a massive clear out recently and I kept it because I was like, oh, anything high coverage. Not that I actually need high coverage as much these days, but I love testing high coverage because I like to see if it really is high coverage and this is very high coverage. I am very impressed with this. A little bit of my collection under my eyes, even though I said I was going to try makeup I haven't tried before, but... I think because I was editing till quite late, I felt really like buzzing at like half 11 at night. And that is so not me. I just know any of my friends and family watching this will be like, what the hell? <laughs> like Alfie was falling asleep and I was just like chatting away to him and he was like, please shut up, I'm trying to sleep. I'm gonna set me under eyes with a bit of Bacon Finish by Revolution. I normally just stick like a fluffy brush in there. This is essentially just talcum powder for your eyeballs, isn't it? There we go. Right, we've powdered under the eyeballs. Now I'm gonna use my Becca powder. Oh, oh, can't open it, there we go. Which is the really lovely one that feels really cold on your face. I'm gonna do brows because I hate when I have no brows. And I'm gonna use a mixture of powder and the Makeup Forever gel. I'm just gonna put a bit of the gel through it and then I'm just gonna over, over, put, oh, I can't talk, put a bit of powder over that. Okay, done that. Now I'm gonna use a gel and I'm gonna use the Hourglass gel in arch one side of this brush is, is short and compact and the other side is a bit more long and bristly there we go brows done lovely job i think i'm gonna use the urban decay born to run palette or let me see if there's another one that's fairly new i might use this one actually this is the urban decay back talk and it has um some blushes on one side a mirror in the middle and then some really pretty pinky purpley shades so i might go down that route today why ever not i'm gonna use the monsieur big by lancome I was like, why don't I look finished yet? Oh, because I've not done any bronzer or any highlight or blush. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Okay, I am done. Day two. 
is usually more my favorite than day one for corkscrew curls. You do not want to brush this, trust me. The only thing I think I'm gonna do is add a little bit of dry shampoo into my roots. This is the IGK Jet Lag Invisible Dry Shampoo. I've got one bit that's a bit straight, so I might, I might attempt to just curl him a little bit. There we go, that's better. Now I'm gonna put a tiny bit of oil just on the ends where it looks a bit dry. This is the Davines Oi Oil. I've just got the smallest amount because you don't wanna overdo this. But it also does give the hair a bit more texture because it separates out a little bit. I don't know what the back looks like because obviously I've slept on my head my head i've slept on it oil done i was gonna use some texture spray i think i might just a little bit hairspray this is the amica fluxus touchable hairspray Ugh. smells divine You can also back comb it a bit if you want to, but I feel like it's big enough for me right now. I'm not sure I wanna make it even bigger. There we go. Done. I just thought I would do a little outfit of the day in the mirror. Hello. Okay, so this jumpsuit is from ASOS. It's kind of a very thin cotton denim, very flared, there's Nala. Um, and it did come with a belt that had a little diamante heart, but I wasn't really a fan of it, so I changed it up for one of my own belts. Um, I don't really have much jewellery on today, just some little hoops. Um, I've got my Daniel Wellington watch and cuff on, and these leopard print boots, which were from River Island two years ago, I want to say. And this belt is, it's a tiny little vintage YSL belt that my mum bought for me from, I want to say a charity shop or like a vintage shop i can't remember but yeah that is my outfit for today you ready to go to the office they it always comes down to like what how you feel mm -hmm. and so that is the most important thing it's yeah. like this is something that's affecting you personally that ultimately you're the only one who has control to do it though yeah. we need to think about after this what the yeah. actual like ideal timing so the action plan is i've got a few next steps in here but what the kind of like how we get to do this mm -hmm. and i guess that needs to come from you so yeah let's talk about it all different things but i feel like they all yeah. kind of relate to just yeah because you could sort one out but i still feel like sorting out one of these things doesn't help all the it's like they only no, need they all... to happen together yeah. to, to make, make a difference, difference. New content coming soon. Oh, I love it. It's so Taylor Swift. I can't even so imagine it. Doing that. Sorry, I'm just doing it. I should really love that. I do it. <laughs> that is so Taylor Swift, isn't it? Like, Are you on the YouTube? You literally do. You make me do. Sorry. I'm going to circuit him to the front yeah. right now. Why? <laughs> because <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> That's yeah. literally what you're about to do. That's so You're right. You're having a like, Taylor short. Did I said this to you? It's your turn. You're like, you're having a Taylor moment. Oh, my God. Like, everybody goes through this. My problem is that I feel it's really difficult because at the moment I feel like I can't be myself or say the things mm. I want to say but at the same time I have to say something that's really big and important. Mm. When I try to sit and film <coughs> to like talk about it a bit mm. in my vlog, honestly I was going, oh, 
I can't say that. It was like the one thing I'm trying to do is be able to say how I feel about something, but my problem is that I don't feel like I can. So it was. What's the worst thing that could happen? Good question. It's very daunting to talk about yeah. things that are like affecting you to the point where you don't feel like you can do what you love. Like we need to remember that there's people that are gonna go. I can totally understand what you mean. And I think 99% of people will do. And the 1% that wouldn't, wouldn't anyway. Get behind you. The fact that people aren't always going to agree with everything you say. You cannot please everybody. You can't. Hello, hello. Oh, sorry. It's okay. You're just talking about their, their other halves. But we're just going through lots of bits and pieces. I went and got my nails done with Poppy. I went for white again. I really like white. Although, over the course of the week, I find that the ends get quite stained in makeup. <laughs> so clearly I touched my face a lot more than I actually thought I did, which is very unhygienic and gross. <laughs> We've got Buzz in the office today. Look at them together. Hello, hello. We're about to go through some uh, new mood boards for lifestyle gifting 2019. You may have seen in one of my previous vlogs, we were going through the initial mood boards. Um, so now this is like with all our feedback given and any other tweaks, which is exciting. Yeah, it's so exciting. exciting. Yeah, oh, and Carrie hasn't seen this at all. I Carrie's probably all thinking, uh, really this is very me. different from, it's changed, a lot. it's changed a lot. I saw your initial mood board. Oh, the, the pre-mood yes, board, the pre -pre board. Pre -pre -mood so board. This is mood board. Exciting. Yeah, this is looking so much better. <laughs> Are we still going to do your one cutting night out? Oh yeah, come on. I'll take this. We spent yeah. on this like a year ago. Maybe it should be the Christmas party. You'll enjoy it. But like, so the Christmas tips here, the sprays, they are basically saying that... We're now probiotics. No. We're now going through beauty. I just got mine. 2019 gifting. Carry on. You got your what? Probiotic. I don't know why. <laughs> everybody it's now Saturday I didn't actually film much of yesterday because it was quite a busy day I've got my mum here with me today and yesterday and what did we do we took Nala to the vets for another eye checkup what else did we do we had a little pop into home sense actually because as some of you might know I'm very eager for their autumn and like Thanksgiving and Halloween and fall stuff to come in because it's basically my favorite time of the year in home sense from like now onwards so we had a little look in home sense i definitely went a bit candle crazy didn't i mum uh, yes i'll show you a couple of the ones i got this one is a giant pumpkin spice candle by dw home this is just the candle of dreams isn't it i'm gonna put this on my dining room table and light it for the coming days, weeks, and months. Also got this one, which is pumpkin rum. And I don't know what brand this is actually. DW Home again. There you go. That one's really pretty. Um, this one, I loved this jar. And it has this lovely little pulley. I can't actually see what I'm filming because the sun is shining on my screen. This is DW Home as well. Are they all DW Home? And I just didn't realize. But it's so nice. I think it's an American brand. This one smells, it's autumn embers. So it says, cool autumn winds rustle amber leaves infused with spiced incense, aromatic pine needle and crisp woodland herbs. It's a really lovely like bonfire-y one. Then I got this one. This is called Eye of the Beholder, Teakwood and Myrrh. I love the design of this, but I mostly got this because of the smell because this is a very strong woody scent and I feel like this is kind of one step below that, which I really, really liked. This one I mostly got because I loved the jar. It doesn't have what the candle is on the outside, so I'm definitely gonna use this to plant a little succulent or something afterwards. And this is by Sydney Candle Company. I think it's a coconut, which is not what you would expect actually. <laughs> yeah, M Coconut. I like coconut scents for the bedroom. And then this is another DW Home, and this is Honeyed Pear, 
which also smells gorgeous. I got this little pumpkin trinket dish. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I couldn't resist it. <laughs> These little bath bombs, pumpkin latte smelling bath bombs. I'm so excited for this. It's by a brand called Asquith and Somerset, which I've never heard of before, but they look really cool. Um, got a few cards because Home Sense have the cutest cards. Look at this one. Girl power, happy birthday. It's a little necklace. And then this, which is down here because I want to wash it. But look at this mug with this little Frenchie on it. <laughs> Some could say this is slightly tacky. But I love my tack around this time of year. So, <laughs> perfect. I kind of wish it was a pug, but it's close enough. <laughs> I'm not sure who's more excited for the walk, Mum or Nala. Uh oh, here you go. Here you go. Come on then. <laughs> She's like, no. She doesn't trust. Oh, she doesn't trust you that you're actually taking her for a walk. She, she probably thinks we're going back to the VETS. Oh yeah. Come on, put your <laughs> also spotted these coffees this one is farmer's market collection by jason scott ground coffee glazed donut warm cake donut with a sugary glaze mm. and this one banana muffin i have no idea what this will taste like but it sounds great <laughs> they were only 3.99 each we are out on our walk it's a lovely day. I think this is one of my favorite types of days when it's like, it's not really, really hot and it's like a nice cool day, but the sun is out. Nala's in the lead, but I think she's a bit unsure. So she keeps stopping. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> she has like a false confidence. She like runs three meters yeah. And then comes back. That's why I think she'd leave home. I'm surprised she's not tired yet. Come on. Good girl. My mum has gone home now, sadly. So it's just me and pup. I've been having a little tidy up and lighting some candles because Tanya and Jip, my hair. I mean, Tanya and Jim are coming over, which I'm really excited about. I haven't seen them in a while and it's gonna be really nice for us all to catch up, but I do need to go and put some makeup on. However, their ETA is in one minute. So I didn't wanna like run all the way upstairs, start on my makeup, then run all the way back down and let them in. And I thought, I'll let them in, let's have a little chat, let's have a catch up and then I'll go up and sort my face out. Although I don't actually know what we're going to be doing. So maybe I won't even need to put makeup on. Maybe I'll just stay like this. My house is smelling divine. I've lit this candle. I always like to try and burn big candles when it's their first burn. If I know I'm gonna be in the house like all day, I will light them so that they can do their initial burn all the way down. So this one's almost done. That is a lot of wicks. The whole house just smells of like spiced pumpkin. I love it. I cannot wait until autumn. And then I've lit this one, the teakwood myrrh candle here. And that smells delicious as well. So there's a lovely array of smells as you walk through the house. And I'm very happy about it. I love when the house is all like, tidy clean everything's been put away um a lot of the candles and diffusers that i bought yesterday in home sense i've like distributed around the house and yeah i don't know i just i really like it it's very therapeutic and very like calming they're not here yet so i'm gonna do some quick makeup but i just know now that i'm about to start doing my makeup they're gonna arrive <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of this, which is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Does anyone have a trick of how to put mascara on and it not transferring onto your eyelid? Any of my long lashed pals out there? <laughs> Help a girl out. <laughs> I try doing it like as far down as possible. 
but it still does it just used this uh, mascara actually which i've never used before and this is the Stila huge extreme lash mascara oh wait i think i have used this before why did i think it was a different one? Oh, i thought i was using the bare minerals one they look pretty similar because <laughs> now i just have i just have black on my eyelid now i don't really know how to there we go now I just need to tidy all this mess away. <laughs> oh, look at my makeup. He looks like I've been crying. <laughs> I look like I've been distressed. We've been tormenting you. <laughs> Literally, Tom and Jim are here. That's squash, wasn't it? <laughs> That's what it was. So we're currently trying to find something for dinner. Why is it? Neither of us, Mini. none of us. Mini mint. Tom, that's dessert. We need to find dinner. <laughs> what about, oh my God, what about fish finger butties? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do, they have <laughs> Do you think you'll ever have an idea that I oh don't think no? Oh my god. That's Wait, a, this that's looks an like that lolly in it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is going on with this freezer? Like, <laughs> Jim just wants all the ice. Lick it, I dare you. Yeah, it smells like really like, old ice. Oh, maybe. yeah, actually, maybe don't. <laughs> so yeah, we're trying to decide what to have for dinner, but all three of us are on very different pages. I wouldn't hate you if you had tuna. No, Alfie's could, a tuna lover. Could you stand? I feel like I wouldn't want the smelter in your evening. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> oh, or the dough balls. Or the dough balls either. Or Let's both. get both, yeah. Let's get some garlic bread and some dough balls. Great start. Tani, you thinking pasta? No, no, well. You thinking pizza? I was thinking about getting this and putting a tin of tuna on it. Oh. Uh, here's a, a, a left field idea. Why don't we get a few pieces and then just have like a... <gasps> pizza feast. Just chop, no, because if we were going to do that, we'd order Domino's. <laughs> well, I think this is nice than Domino's. <laughs> I only really like Domino's when I'm hungover. <laughs> or pissed. I don't, I think we should, we should browse. <laughs> Tom, Tom's like the wiggle of the finger. I think we should browse. Okay. A wander round. No, we've done, not a wander round. We've done an entire tour of the perimeter of the building. <laughs> we also need a tin of tuna. Okay, fine. Why don't you go get that? That would be useful. <laughs> so what are we saying then? Pasta or fettuccine? Well, I mean, maybe we should sauce. get. Maybe we should. Tuna and we could just do like a little Italian, Italian, Italian evening. Italian. Do you have peas? Yeah. Okay. So we've gone for. I ate, but I couldn't wait. I was so. <laughs> Jim's already eating. A lot of. We've made some different types of pasta. We've got ravioli, and we've got like a cheesy tuna and pea ravioli, which yeah. Tan's made, or is it tagatelli? Tagatelli. Tagatelli. Well, oh, it's actually fettuccine. Oh. And then we've gone for some pizzas, garlic bread, dough balls. Oh my god, this looks absolutely next level <laughs> so this is our italiano feast and i'm sure all the italians are like that ain't italian <laughs> yeah, so we were discussing it in the kitchen i said every time i'm in italy you just eat loads of pasta and bread but you don't actually get a given pizza here's a plate for you thank you, you so I'm sitting here watching the boxing uh, and then I just looked up and oh it's really dark in it oh there we go I just looked up to see Zoe doing Tan's hair and it's, she's <laughs> done the full Tan look here you look ridiculous she just said to me if my hair doesn't look like yours what happens next do you sort of brush it out or you brush it out and then you like sleep on it wow I never fancied you more Tan <laughs> Jim said she looks like a tit. <laughs> <laughs> you do it well, not an actual tit, just but you do look a tit. I'm Instagram story you say. What did you do? I'm really scared of myself. <laughs> oh, it's quite cute up high. Yeah, do a little half up. Oh it looks cute! Honestly tomorrow it won't be so tight. Good, because I have to go to the gym at 8.40 tomorrow. I actually really like it. Look how thick it is, T. I quite like it. Do you? Yeah. Oh my god, it really made me jump because it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't look like me. Also, it doesn't feel like my hair. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You don't. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Get home tonight, but take your hairband out tonight and just sleep with it like that. Yeah. 
If you sleep with a hairband in, it messes up the curls. Oh my god, I'm actually like crying. Um, but if you sleep with your hair just like that and then wake up, then put some oil through it, don't brush it. It'll be so greasy. No, it won't. Trust me. It's dry as heck right now. <laughs> Jim, what do you think? Right, I'm, really, I'm gonna <laughs> do like, it properly. Um, the professor from Back to the Future. <laughs> Let, leave that bit a bit loose though. I will loosen it. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Can't say I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the room when I come in here, I want to be handed a glass of champagne. Doesn't it feel like that? Like, it I, is, it's I like... expect to walk in here and, and for someone to have a tray. It feels really posh in here and like fancy nice lighting and then I'll just be like, oh thank you. Thank you for my tea, my tea, my champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I couldn't drink champagne with this hair and this outfit.